Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 26 of Grim Dawn on the Xbox Series X. We are exactly where we were at the end of the last part. Well, we're ready to teleport back to where we were. And I did do a bunch of stuff off camera, as I said I was going to at the end of the last part. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go back up to here, into the rotting croplands. And just turn these headphones down a bit before I shout at you for three hours. Well, an hour. <laughs> Not three hours. Right, we're just going to quickly... Right, I've emptied the inventory out off camera. However, I wanted to go and speak to this chap because... I think we can make a better... Empowered Relic. At the moment, we're wearing a level 18 one. Seems to do a whole bunch of fire damage. And... It kind of made me aware of the fact that we are, in fact, doing fire damage because I kept saying that we weren't. But we do have permanent fire damage coming out of the fact that... Oh, no, it's only coming out of Calamity, though, isn't it? So it grants the skill of Calamity 5% chance on attack, which does a whole bunch of fire stuff. So and we've also got this Witch, War, Witch Stalker, which I'm not overly sure is worth making or not. I think this is going to be a crossbow rather than a gun. But we don't have this. Purified salt. We have zero of one. Now, I don't recall being able to make purified salt. Ah. Well, we can, actually. And we make it out of corpse dust, corpse dust and polished emeralds. Make a couple of them. Twenty-two thousand to make this thing. Oh, it's a it's a it's a pistol. It's a pistol. And it's way worse than the ones we're wearing. <laughs> well, that's a bit disappointing. Well, I don't know what the point of that is then. Surely it should make stuff that is going to be of a similar damage type, surely, of the ones that you're wearing. Otherwise, what's the point of having the... I don't understand what the point of having the schematic is if you can only make a shit version of a weapon. It's a level 20 weapon. Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's go with plan B then, which is we're going to make... Uh... Oh place. Relics and runes, here we go. So all of these ones seem to be up to 25, which are the empowered relics. But the transcendent relics are level 35s. So we've got a granted skill of bloodbath on that one, a granted skill of summon stormhound. So we could summon a pet on that one. And a granted skill of haunt. Invoke a summoning of ch tortured spirits that will haunt your enemies and chill their blood. So that's another pet one then, presumably. A vicious technique that leaves your enemies hemorrhaging profusely, leading to slow and painful deaths. Blood, bla blood bath granted. Well, the actual standard skills on that are piercing damage, chance of 159 damage over 3 seconds, 10% chance. Plus 32% pierce damage, plus 48% bleeding damage, and plus 15 cunning. Hmm. We could go for a level 25 sanctuary. Pierce resistance. I was looking for resistances, to be fair. It's attack speed. Volcanic fury. Elemental resistances. I'd be kind of tempted with that uh, slaughter one, to be fair, but I kind of feel like I like this one now that I know that it's doing a whole bunch of, uh, well, 
It's only doing it on calamity right enough. Burst of searing brimstone erupts from you. This is a melee dual wielding technique, so that's no use to us. Melee weapons, yeah. So that might be why I haven't touched them as yet. And I wasn't that keen to have a pet either, so yeah, we'll kind of stick with what we've got, I think. <laughs> right, well, that was a waste of time, but, well, not a waste of time. You learn something from everything you do, of course. So I'm going to sell the gun. And... Oh, we just made that purified soul, didn't we? Right, let's go. Let's get the action on, people. In the end, uh, the only things I've changed in my armour at this stage are the trousers. I put new pants on people. I put the 315 pants on and I upgraded them with the ancient armour plate. And I'm pretty sure that's all I did. No, no it's not. I changed a ring. I upgraded a ring with a soul shard and put more resistances on there and it made our chaos protection go up. Uh, sorry, ether protection go up. Still, chaos is probably the lowest now, but we've got our ether up to 20 odd percent now as well. So we're starting to find a bit more of a balance in here. So that's the two things I did off screen, and I made a couple. Uh, made the trousers look like the patchwork ones. And outside of that, I've kept a couple. I won't go back. I've kept a couple of the level 40 things in case we do want to put them on. Meanwhile, back in rotting croplands, we can go straight back to where we were. And carry on as if we never left. That's the place that we went into. <laughs> and it was endless, people. But I must have spent so... Honestly, I spent so long... Looking through all the stuff that we picked up, the oh, gruesome harvest. That's a new area, isn't it? In the end, I actually got a bit bored trying to compare it all. <laughs> I was like, this is too much for my brain to think about. Uh, and there was nothing that was so fantastical other than the ring and the... Well, he looked a bit new. God, these headphones are so good, people. I'm going to keep harping on about my Astro A50s for a long time to come. Well, I guess the question is, yeah, I feel like I'm going into Gruesome Harvest without actually having looked at all the areas in here yet. We've still got to go back and hand in all these quests as well. Reputation points, thank you. Everybody thinks I'm awesome. Do -do 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 -do. Fucking hell, it's hurting me. Can't do that yet. Jesus Christ, there was something really damaging me there. <laughs> Impervious frontier pants of the untamed. Alright, I always wear a pair of them on a date. Excuse 
me, my dear, before we go for a coffee, I just want you to know that my pants are untamed. <laughs> Something tells me that the coffee would not happen if you said that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Surprise music much? Dun dun dun! Doing a full circle back to the old rift here, but that's fine. I think there'll be a shrine. That's a totem. What lurks within? Shite. That was a bit fucking harsh, that. Bloody hell. I can't do that. <laughs> Absolutely destroy me with that green shiz, people. I think it's the old ether, isn't it, that's getting me still. Can't do that yet. Devotion level increase. Herald's jacket. Well, that's 271 armor, which is higher than what we've got. Poison resistance, freeze duration, reduced freeze duration, uh, pierce resistance. Nice, resistances are good on it. We'd lose 23% elemental resistances, but they're quite high anyway. Uh, and it's part of the Herald's Regalia. 4% cunning, health, and plus 35 physique. Shit me. Well, that might have to go on, people. Venom Fang Oil Recipe. Rampaging scale mail gloves of attack. Uh, well, there's next to no resistances on the ones I'm wearing, but I've got the old quick drawer on them and plus two to ranged expertise. But we've got bleeding resistance and poison and acid resistance on those. We don't really need the poison acid one. Elemental resistance, bleeding resistance, loads of resistances on these. the Herald's jacket, which we should probably put straight on, to be fair. What have we got in the way of... Well, I think that's the chest. That's the that's what we've got in the current one, isn't it? Plus 18 physique and plus 35 armour, I think. Yeah, ancient armour plate, yeah. I 
read that. Oh, so close to a level up, people, to get to level 40. I think the armor that we've got waiting for us at level 40 is higher than that. I think it's 300 and something, so I'm wondering. It's decent on the old Aether resistance and Chaos resistance this day if we get the next part of the set. It's a two set. Two, two parts of the set will get us 20% Aether and 20% Chaos resistance. Plus one to all skills on three. It's a hard one to ignore, people. That's chest armor as well. Plus 6% movement speed. Offensive ability. Offensive ability. Reduced entrapment duration. Okay, I'm gonna just hold off for a little bit. I feel like our movement speed's gone up. Did I put something on with more speed on it and I've not realised? Well, hmm, could be that our devotion's gone up and increased it again, of course. Coming across a lot of ether enemies. In the middle. Just want a few big fights now to get our uh, level 40. Can't move in any direction without finding undiscovered country.
Well, that was a bloody ambush if ever I saw one. Just the sort of fight I was looking for, to be fair. <laughs> Get the old XP going. Wald's Note. I'll read it while we're here. Axe and revolving rifle. Which is no use to anyone. Well, another fight or two like that will get us a level up, people. We should go right up the left hand side and then circle back round again. Either that or we go straight across if we can. where we started people we've done a mahusive circle yeah that was the gruesome harvest which is the other area that we don't want to go into yet so we want to go right now Ugh. follow the path Well, that was a full circle. Enemy hero 
kill, thank you. Well. <laughs> Little crevice in between the, in the green. so close to that level up it's ridiculous <laughs> Woo, level up red pony level 40 people come on I think level 50 is when the legendary start dropping people. Right, let's just have a little quick. I think I'm going to be a little bit greedy with physique here, because it seems to be the one that... Um, well, we've got a few things on that are boosting it, but... I'm kind of conscious of the fact, though, that everything in skills, devotion, is given as, like, 15 extra physique or whatever. Like, that gave us 3% extra physique, and we got uh, other physique stuff and some of these other things, but I don't remember getting any cunning. So, that'll give us more physique, I think. Yeah, plus 15 and armor. Um, I still don't know whether that's worth doing for us. That's spirit, that one. But then it gives us physique again. So the physique we can get up with the devotions permanently so there is an argument to keep putting something cunning because we, otherwise we'll get caught out but I have noticed quite a few things wanting me to have physique of over 400 nah I'm going to go with my gut I'm going to put it in cunning points. Uh, I don't know whether to start getting up here. I mean, that's a fair few level ups to go before we can get to this bloody level up here. 20 bloody points we need to get. 3, 6, 9, 12. I mean, we need about 7 or 8 level ups to get there, wouldn't we? Yeah, 3, 7's 21. So level, if we kept putting them into this now, when we get to level 30, uh, sorry, level 47, we'll be able to get that. But it would mean putting nothing else anywhere else. And I don't know how much we'd suffer if we do that. I realise it's not set in stone because we can go to see the devotion, well, that spirit guide person that will take it all, well, can take stuff off for us at a cost. 
but still. Depends what else is on the way that I want. Death sentence as well. That looks like a passive. Steel Resolve. That's part of the healing one, isn't it? But, I mean, we can put the points, you know, we can just keep doing what we're doing, I suppose, but... Which, I mean, for the same amount of points, we'd probably be able to max out that and that and that. Yeah, because there's six points apiece to max out those three moves. Um, however, we could get the last two points in Word of Agony. And get Lightning Ether one off of the max there. Let's do that. Let's do that for now. A big radius that now, isn't it? It's just word of pain and the well, whatever the lightning one's called. Not sure why they've got themselves all locked in cages, but anyway. There's a bit of a war going on up there, I think that's what's happening. sure what I'm meant to do here. Oh 
Holy fuck me, what the hell? dead. Holy shite, he was a big one. Amalgamation. Epic offhand. Cool, blimey, he was a big fella. Was in the big area. Oh, really? Fuck. How the shite am I meant to get me gifts? Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Am I not meant to go up the stairs there, then? I didn't seem to want to let me go up the steps. I can't go around to the left. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything up there anyway. Okay, fair enough. Get the hell out of here. Another gun. It's not particularly great. Still need to think about this armor here. Yeah, I wanted to have a look at the one back at the thing, didn't I, before I made my mind up. Devil's Crossing. Whew, I think I'll celebrate, celebrate with the 7-Up people. Dusty in this wasteland, people. Right. Yeah, I think the rest of it can go, to be fair. Pretty good everywhere else on the armor front. I said 37% to all resistances there. I was like, holy shit, I'm putting that on. It's not, it's to all retaliation damage. K 
chaos resistance of 20% is quite sweet though. So, there's a choice between the Herald's jacket or the fused carapace armour. Oh, well that one. Yeah, I upgraded that one in advance, didn't I? 326 armour in that fused carapace. Same in that one. So that, yeah, that and that are the same. Just with different abilities and stuff on it. That's avoid projectiles, pierce resistance, pierce resistance, chance to um, poison damage plus 40%. <sighs> well, 271 against 326. The resistance is on that. Well, it's poison and acid resistance and pierce resistance and re reduced freeze duration. But you get plus 35 physique and plus 4% cunning. Which is why it was... Yeah, oh yeah. And you get chaos and ether resistance if we find part of the other set, which would be awesome. I thought I upgraded that one already. Doesn't look like I have. I decided not to bother until... Pretty sure it's the same one I've put on the others, so. So, should we put that one on for now? Pierce resistance, poison, and acid resistance, and reduce freeze duration. We'll lose 23% elemental resistances. Yeah, so the lightning and all that came down from quite a lump actually. Fire and lightning are quite low now. Ice is getting a boost from somewhere else. However, we've got a better balance on our ethers and uh, stun. Vitality is well protected at the minute. Leading's at nearly 30. Yeah, it's getting more balanced, to be fair. A couple of these belts, I think, were... Could do with something to get the elemental resistances back up. If I take the belt off, we'll lose even more elemental resistance at the minute. Oh yeah, the boots. I was going to look at the boots, wasn't I? 320 armour instead of 232. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> we'll lose even more elemental resistances if I take those boots off. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't have any components with elemental resistances on, which is quite surprising considering the amount I have. Not that I can remember anyway. So if I remember rightly, the boots stuff seems to be based on speed half the time. Pretty sure it has something with foot armor on it. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's got to be an easier way of looking through this stuff. Well, there is a zap, and you can go up and down like that. That's in boots. It's movement speed and slow resistance and such like. Health regen. So nothing really that helps with resistances. Right, the boots will have to stay on for now. They're not bad boots, to be fair, that we're wearing. But it was just the jump from... It's nearly a hundred armour of a difference. Yeah, I've got that mark of the traveller on those other ones as well. I can't see... I mean, those boots that I would put on, the Dreadnought boots, I mean, it's 36% plus 36% physical damage, which really for us isn't great, is it? Because we're not doing a huge amount. A physical tent generally means... Well, I suppose the bullets are physical. Just, but a lot of our weapons are doing elemental damage, not physical damage. It's more based around the uh, melee weapons, I think, the physical. So I think we'll leave it as is for now. Right, we can sell... Uh, we'll keep the worm claw and we'll stick it in the... As it was a special one. And we can probably get rid of that now. Hang on to it for a little while. Just until we're happy. Let's get rid of the components. Uh, oh. 13% elemental resistance is in that, uh, hmm, Maven's, Maven's lens is pretty decent though, it's got loads of stuff on it. Elemental resistance is a 15% on the rare metal that we've not, uh, yeah, that we haven't got on. Might be worth a shout, you know. It's not got a perk on it, but mind you, is that perk not coming from the attuned lodestone? Oh, fucking arse. I've put all of those components into the bloody wrong slot thing. Bastard. You put the kid in charge. Eighteen percent elemental resistance on the harmonious mark of the wolf. Why am I not wearing that then? And it's got poison and acid resistance on it. Could put an attuned lodestone on that. Oh, okay, wait. We've got plus three to rune of Callistor on the other one. That's why. We've got a fair lump of other stuff on the other one actually. Okay, I'll leave it as is for now then. Right, let's just get to the right thing here and put the stuff back. I'll keep an eye on so, the only thing we did there was the armour, right? That's quite a smart jacket, that, isn't it? Herald's jacket. Come see what's left of my wares. Well, a I think it's just a case of teleporting straight back now, isn't it? Right. 
Nice. Bit of a gunslinger jacket, that, innit? One minutes. Good grief. this way I think I think at the beginning of the next part we might do a bit of Bob back to Homestead and hand in a few quests. Because we have uh, done quite a few. Certainly in a position to push a few along anyway. Being where we're not being people. There's that whopping big bit in the middle that I can't seem to get to, isn't there? Yeah, it seems to be over there.
could just be a big segment you're not in. Actually, you don't get to. Yeah, it does look like it. You're just not meant to be in them there parts. Although it does look like there's a bit over there to get into, actually. We need to go all the way back round, though. It's good you've got a fast boots on. sure we can get through anywhere in this field. Maybe. I love all the corn is sort of blowing in the wind. Ah, here we go. so glad at the beginning of this game I set that setting to pick all that stuff up automatically. Can you imagine going through all that? Jesus. Before you pick it up. Well, we're back at the rift pretty much. This house is clean. Well, we've discovered the hell out of that. It's possible there might be a little bit down there, but it looks like it's just a corner of mist. Not overly sure. Well, there's a bit there's a bit at the top, isn't there, where we can go, I think. Bloody miles away now though. Oh, that's me in the me in the pool. I'll tell you what. Let's uh, let's go to Homestead if we can find it. Rotting, yeah. So we're kind of making our way up there to the Sorrow Bastion, aren't we? Really. Go see some folk. Douglas Sullivan Old Barrow. Uh, which one is he? Ah, uh, there, yeah, that's him there. Infested fields.
I have cleared the fields, you asked. Nice. 9,000 XP. 500 homestead reputation. And 1,200 iron. I am relieved to hear that. And that you've returned in one piece. Derma... Dermapterans or Dermaterans, whatever we're going to call them, should not be trifled with, especially in such numbers. I will speak to Captain Summer about sending some guards out along with some of the farmers. We will have that field cleaned up in no time. In the meantime, I was hoping you would hear me out as far more grave task. What's up? The Dermateran hives are clin clinical... Uh, <laughs> are cyclical in nature, I think that means. Every seven years or so, they birth a new queen, which promptly proliferate their numbers and causes them to explode across the countryside. In the past, we would rally together and exterminate the queen while she was still young, but after the grim dawn, the Dematarium were allowed to thrive, and their queen has molted into a massive creature that spawns in the Dermaterans by a drove every day, by, do by the dozen every day. I think we've already done this for them. She has to be destroyed, otherwise insects will eventually run out of food and attack us in force. The queen is always guarded by two of her grand vi viziers, or viziers. So you would have to acquire their pheromone glands to even enter her chamber. Yeah, we've done this, I'm sure of it. We know that the royal hive is somewhere out in the rotting croplands to the west of the homestead. After the way you handle the infested fields, I am confident in your abilities. Will you help us halt the Dermaterum cycle? I have already dealt with the queen, my friend. Woohoo! 11,000 XP, thank you. Inventory bag expands the size of your inventory. Oh, nice! We've got another bag for our inventory. Plus a thousand homestead reputation and two thousand iron. Marvelous. That is the best news I've heard for weeks. I will have to speak to Captain Summer about getting a proper kitchen set up. Your continued support is ensuring the homestead will produce enough food for all. What about Devil's Crossing? You have done much help, uh, much to help us get our fields back in order but I, ha I can't spare anything until my people have had more time to grow the fresh crop. If you continue to help us out then that will free up the hands I need to tend the harvest. Clearing out the beasts roaming the land will also ensure that we can work in peace. Very well. The Black Legion's finest uh, is what we've got left. So we've got Summer to speak to. Now that's Summer, but we've also got someone else to speak to here. Weapons Master Borov, I think it is. What are you saying, my man? The Weapon Master looks over the supplies... Uh, oh, no, sorry. The Weapons Master looks over the supplies and size. It's a damn shame about the cannons... This place would feel a whole lot safer if we had a few of those beauties mounted up on the walls. What happened to the cannons? We had no choice but to abandon them on the road when the ethereals attacked us in force. Thankfully the bastards don't know a thing about artillery. What if I recovered them? Then I would call you insane. Treading into that area is nothing short of suicide. There's a reason we call it the conflagration. The conflagration now? It's overrun with ethereals. Even... The very ground will cook you when the ether, with the ether fire. You like living? Stay out there. Just watch me. Uh, you're still in one piece. I suppose that means you didn't try to get there. Yeah. Where are the cannons? As I said, we left them in the blah blah blah. Northeast. Okay. Ah, the question marks upstairs as it happens. Missing diary. Oh yeah, we've got the missing diary. Return the diary to to Dala or Dala Thornsbury and Homestead. 
There she is. Thank you for clearing out the farm. It's the best news I've heard for weeks. I found your diary. Woo! 5,000 XP. Thank you. And 100 reputation for Homestead. Oh, heavens. I hope you didn't read it. It's not proper to stick your nose into a lady's private scribblings. Thank you. I dropped it when they fled the farm. Figured the Dermatarians would have shredded it up by now. Um, I assure you I've not read a word. Which was a lie. <laughs> Never mind. Hello, Mama was talking about you. She said you like to stick your nose where in books that aren't yours. I found it and brought it back to your mama. Oh well, that's very nice of you. Mama writes in there all the time. Take care, kid. Right, well, that ju that just Lee. Oh, there's a stash here. Stash safe. Well, hmm. Don't think we need any of it, really. Sell it all. There, there's our extra tab. Why is the shop in such a god awful annoying place? It mind you, is it a shop though, or is it just a faction thing? I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. Iron well spent. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. Wow, we can get to the second level of this now. Decent helms, to be fair to them. They're just so heavy, that. Harvest Greaves. 7 plus 7% 7 movement speed, elemental resistances, pierce resistance. Okay. Hmm. See you around. I'll see you around, my friend. Well, I think there's only the captain to talk to now. Everything else is kind of a bounty, isn't it? Well, side quest. Lost cannons. Lost armaments is what we triggered there. Well, I think... Why have I got all that green shiz floating around me still? It's still a perk. It's a perk that activates by itself. I've asked, I've asked this before, haven't I? It's an energy shield granted by... Something I'm wearing that I can't actually see because the, the pointer goes over it. Oh, by item. Passive activation. Raises pr a protective shield that absorbs incoming physical blows. Well, we're doing alright, people, I think. N no idea where we're going next. Uh, I think we'll speak to the captain at the beginning of the next part and then just go off questing again plenty of that it looked like the top end of the area we were in I still hadn't done so I can go back there and just try and clear the uh, quest off the screen I think in the next part well there you go folks another one done we went well over the hour mark yet again it has been an honor and a privilege serving for you once again in grim dawn on the Xbox Series X and I'll catch you in the next one folks take it easy bye